And as to the stargazer, it's still on a few pieces. However, I have drilled the primary mounts at the bottom, and I can't set those until I've actually got this all closed up and ready to go. Because I really need to know where all these wires are going. But also, knowing where the pipes are going to be will help as well. And it turns out on a recent test, middle strip here of LEDs is not quite what it could be. So I'm going to have to pull that out and put a new strip in. Well, all of those marks are pretty convincing, though I think it's going to be the uh, lower of the two in the set that are more realistic. In fact, one way to make sure, and pretty much need to make sure at this point, so as long as I keep everything out of the way of that, this will be all set. Alright, so the Orion is at a point where I really can't do any more until I've actually attached the nose on. So right now I have all the wires tucked inside underneath this. This is looking like a pretty good fit overall, but it's not getting glued down to the bottom yet. This is just to place the nose, because the nose piece includes the wing height on it. So it's got to match it that way, and what better way to do that than this. Now, so I'll only be gluing at the top, keep away from the bottom so there's no connection there. But I have to string these along and get them in place. So it looks like in gluing this guy into place here that uh, I glued the fiber optic into place yet again. This one is nice and free. Uh, this one is completely fixed and it's really difficult to get it apart this time because I really clamped it down so I'm gonna have to luck out that I trim this down and bloom it perfectly when I go to do it And it looks like I got a little cleanup on the edge to do there and a little there and I kinda got the pieces close but not quite they could have been better like the top fits nicely here but down here it's a little much so that's going to have to be smoothed down probably would have been better if I had averaged them but there's a little cleanup along this edge here to do and definitely some there whether I can file that or I'll fill it in with some Ava's epoxy we'll see So with these two portholes initially in place, it's essentially ready to be placed onto the uh, wall plaque, but I do need to have the whole body together before that really happens. I'll be using some Mavis epoxy to fill in all around here. And uh, so this is just a preliminary step just to get it glued in. It just happens to be that these two pipes are exactly that much distance behind each other so this will be a red LED sticking out of here this will be a green out of here and I'll have a connector for the final plug when I put them into here the red marks are where those pipes are gonna set so as long as I keep everything out of the way of that there should be plenty of room for everything else And as mentioned everything is just sort of tucked down right now just to keep everything out of the way So what I need to do at this point is get all of these wires tucked in here 
loosely fit, set the wings in place, drop a dab of glue up there, and this will be going. So let's see how it goes. There, so that's the basic idea. Nice looking fit overall. Subscribe lines don't quite match, but they look good overall. Nice, this is going to be a great build up. I am thinking on the paint job of doing something a little more contemporary take on it and go for actual space shuttle style colors where most of this would be basically black but from you reuse a lot of gray going on lots of streaking and I'd go down to the science center and get the uh, photos of Endeavor directly to make sure that I've got good reference various grays up here, black around the windshield uh, yeah all sorts of goodness I think it could be cool I definitely want to do that with the Titov we'll see if I do it with this so now that this model is in two basic pieces I can take an imprint of this for the plaque and with the TTOF ready that means I can start working on that once these two pieces are glued together there's definitely going to be a little filling and stuff to do here and there but here it basically is But based on what I saw there, as long as I get this glued up fine, it should work out well. Before I really did anything, I should have reinforced the bond from underneath. So what I hadn't really been thinking about is that while this is a solid wall here, this is of course just an outer wall casing. So I should have been applying the glue to this side and attaching that side. That's why the first one was so weak. That should be a little better. And then once the wings are in place, that'll be the best. So unfortunately I do need to replace that LED tape. And it isn't necessarily going to be all that easy. And 
but I want to wait for this glue to dry before I do anything else. So, it's on to something else. 